Chuck here, Hillbilly Half Hector Homestead. Welcome back to the homestead. Thought we might do another rabbit genetics video real quick. Talk about the bee locusts. These two rabbits right here rep represent the two genes that you'll find on the bee locusts. Okay? Black and chocolate. Okay? And real quick, real simple, the bee locust is just super easy. The uh, two genes. Uh, if you were writing it out, you would use the uppercase B for black, and it is dominant. You would use a lowercase B for chocolate, which lowercase B, the way I remember it in my head is I remember brown. Black, capitalized B, lowercase B is brown, okay? <coughs> now, brown or chocolate is recessive. And what that means is... It has to get a copy of the brown, or, or the, see I've got myself saying it now. It has to get a copy of the chocolate gene from each parent. So if you want to breed chocolates, the only way that you can get for sure chocolates, the only way you can do that is it, uh, breed two chocolates. You need to have a male and a female. That's the only way you're gonna get chocolates for certain. Okay? Now, that being said, only one dominant gene <coughs> is needed to make a black rabbit. Okay? The, the uppercase B, and it takes up one plate, one of the two spots on the B locus, okay? So, <coughs> we've got an extra space there. So what happens is, a black rabbit, just like this one, can carry chocolate. Okay, so say if you had this rabbit and it carries chocolate and you were to breed it to a chocolate rabbit, some of the babies are going to be black because black is dominant, but you're going to get a few that are chocolate as well or you have a chance of getting chocolates as long as the black rabbit carries chocolate. You can even, <clears throat> believe it or not, even though black is, <clears throat> excuse me, even though black is dominant, you can breed two black rabbits together and get a chocolate. And the reason or the way that happens is simply both 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 blah, 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 blah. ding 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 uh, no uh, both rabbits both black rabbits have to carry chocolate. Okay. Now this rabbit right here this rabbit will not carry chocolate. And the reason that I know this is because both of its parents are homozygous for black. Or basically or, or basically what that means is they won't throw anything other than black. It means on both on both of spots on the B locus, they have a capital B or a black gene. And so you can breed all you want to this rabbit now you can breed this rabbit to a chocolate and you can end up with kits that black kits that will carry chocolate okay that's what <clears throat> that's what's happened recently with uh, iris iris has a beautiful litter of black children okay now you think okay iris is a blue doe how you get well it's real simple keep in mind that a blue doe has the black gene because blue becomes black when you when you hit it with the dilution gene, okay? But uh, and, and if you and if you breed a, a, a blue rabbit like Iris to a buck that carries blue, you're going to get quite a few blues in that litter, okay? And I didn't get one single one, and I went back and and so I went back and I looked at Tagalong's pedigree. And what I found out was, Tag, he carries a little bit of chocolate about three generations back, but he never, never has had has had blue in his background. So he's not going to throw a blue baby. But what I know now is every single black rabbit that is in Iris's litter right now is going to be a carrier of blue. So I can use it, <clears throat> use a buck from that litter if I when I raise it up to breed to blue does, blues and broken blues, or even lilacs if I choose, 
to, uh, and it, and it'll pass along that to, and use that. It'll it carries that that gene for dilution. So, but we got on the dilution. We're not talking about this video wasn't about dilution. This is about black and chocolate. This is the bee locust. You have black or you have chocolate. Okay. To get blue rabbits, to get lilac rabbits, to get uh, chestnut rabbits, opal rabbits, lynx rabbits. It's one of these two genes right here affected by one of the other genes. That's how we, okay, this is the basic two. You got brown and you got chocolate. Okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, no, no, really, folks. I mean, it just doesn't. It doesn't get any simpler than that. Black or chocolate. This is brownie, by the way. This guy, this guy doesn't have a name. He's going to a new home this Saturday, I believe. This young lady right here. Would you quit chewing on my zipper? This young lady right here, this is Brownie. She's going to her forever home on March the 18th. She'll be delivered to her new, her new human uh, on, uh, it's a Benton, Arkansas rabbit show. We're, we are, uh, we've got several rabbits to deliver down there. We're gonna be showing rabbits down there. If any of you are watching and you're gonna be at the Benton, Arkansas rabbit show, uh, we're gonna be there. We'd love to meet you, stop by and say hi. Uh, that's on March the 18th in Benton, Arkansas. Well, it's at, the, it's at the Saline County Fairgrounds. It's where that's going to be. It's hosted by the Central Arkansas Rabbit Breeders Association. And then keep in mind, a month after that, we're going to have a triple. They're going to uh, Northeast Arkansas Rabbit Breeders uh, Club in, out of Jonesboro is going to have a. They are going to be conducting a triple open, triple youth. Uh, it's going to be held over the weekend of, well, it's Easter weekend. Uh, it's April 14th. That's a Friday. They're going to have showing starting at around 7 o'clock. If you need to register and you haven't pre-registered, you need to be there probably around 6. Uh, maybe even earlier if you can be. You know, the earlier the better. I think they're going to, I think somebody's going to be there starting around 5 o'clock. On, on Friday, April 14th. Now, this is in Jonesboro now. This is not Benton. Don't get the two confused. Uh, but uh, we'd love to meet you there. They're also going to have a Rex. They're also, uh, there, there will also be, on April the 14th, there will also be a Rex, a standard Rex specialty show. And there will also be a mini Rex specialty show. All of those are hosted by, or, the Mini Rex Specialty Show is, is hosted and sponsored by New York, uh, and there is another, another uh, Eastern Arkansas Rex Society, I think is what it's called, or EARS for short. Uh, they are going to be hosting the, the Rex Specialty Show. And it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have some events for the kids on Saturday. I think there's going to be an Easter bonnet contest. Uh, wanting everybody to make a nice uh, Easter bunny for their or Easter bonnet for their bunny and show those off. I think there's going to be a prize for the best one. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. I'm not a member yet. Uh, I just uh, I support what they're doing down there. Uh, seems like a great bunch of folks. Uh, they had one of the one of the best organized rabbit shows uh, that I've seen which I haven't I haven't seen a ton of rabbit shows but they've had one of the most most organized I mean they uh, they held a double open show last year and all the judging both shows were done and people were headed home by two o'clock in the afternoon I mean that's that's organization right there I mean and it wasn't because they had lack of entries I mean they that building was full there was rabbits everywhere they were there Anyway, I'm getting. Uh, I've already got off the subject, so now we need to quit. Uh, anyway, black chocolate, recessive, dominant. This it takes two. Just keep in mind, if you've got a chocolate rabbit, it cannot carry anything else. It is solely chocolate.
okay, on the bee locust. The gene is chocolate. If you have a lynx or a lilac on the bee locust, its gene is a double lowercase b if you were writing it out, and it is chocolate. Okay? It takes some other genes to turn chocolate into lynx, to, to turn chocolate into lilac, and so on, but you gotta have the you gotta have the chocolate first. Same with uh, blue blue and opal and things like that. You gotta have the black first. That's where you start. Okay folks, thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody. Hope this hasn't further confused anybody by throwing another gene into the mix. But this is one of the simpler ones, honestly. We're getting closer to that sea, the sea locust, which is going to be a little bit complicated. And there's some things, a little bit more complicated. And there's some things about the sea locust that I haven't worked with, some genes there. I can try to tell you about them, but I haven't worked with them personally. So I don't know a lot about them and the way they work. So I will just do the best that I can. I'm not going to tell you any information that's wrong, but I may not tell you all the information about that particular locust. Okay. I can show you what I've dealt with in it so far, okay? All right. Well, y'all have a great day. God bless.